Hey everyone, what is up? It's me again, Meredith, and this is another episode of What's Cooking. And tonight I am making a cauliflower rice with mushroom, spinach, and ground turkey. So I prepped my cauliflower rice. You can absolutely buy pre-made cauliflower rice. I usually just buy a head of cauliflower chop it into little pieces, throw it in my food processor, and just blend it up myself and make my own cauliflower rice that way. Doesn't matter though. Uh, so I've got it here all riced up and I'm gonna pop it onto a sheet pan that I just covered with some parchment paper. If you are buying the store-bought, make sure you cook it according to the directions on the package. Um, whenever I do it myself, I like to just throw it in the oven at 350 for a little while until it gets like a little crispy um i don't know i like the little crispy parts you don't have to cook it that long if you don't want to but i like it when it starts to get just a little brown in some places it just adds a little more texture to it makes it a little more rice like and yeah so totally up to you guys how you want to do it but you just spread it out on the pan and you're going to want to make sure that you stir this once or twice throughout your cooking time. Um, again, I'll cook it a little longer just because I like the little crispy parts. I'll let you know how long that is in the recipe because it all depends on the size of cauliflower that you have. So that's spread out real nicely. I'm just gonna use a little bit of olive oil and just spritz it. This thing is super cool, I love this thing. You can get just a, like a little spray of olive oil on there, not too much. And then, and there's my preheat. I'm gonna throw a little salt and pepper on there too. And then throw it in the oven and then start the rest of my dinner. So I'm gonna start cooking the um, ground turkey first. This all goes in one skillet, which is fantastic. It's my favorite way to cook. All right, so this is going in. Dang it, there's that pot again. I forgot, I put it back in the oven. I had it out and then I put it back in. Oh, it's been one of those days, guys. Making cakes for the birthday party tomorrow, so it's been one of those days, trust me. All right, so that's going in. And then we're gonna get our pan preheated here. Just do a drizzle of olive oil, probably two teaspoons or so. We don't need too much because the turkey will release some of its juices. You could also use beef in this or like sausage that you take out of the casings. You could really use whatever um, meat you wanted. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Regular chicken doesn't matter. Ground chicken. So that's good. I'm going to grab my ground turkey here and pop this in. And I'm only gonna cook this until it's about halfway done. And then I'm going to add in my mushrooms. I've sliced up a pound of cremini mushrooms here. Actually, I'm gonna add in the onions at the same time because those will uh, cook down. So what, half an onion that I've diced, a pound of cremini mushrooms that I've sliced, those will go in once the turkey is about halfway done cooking and then we're gonna let that finish cooking all together. Then I'll be back to show you the rest. Okay, so my cauliflower rice is done. I pulled that out of the oven. It was in for about 15 minutes. Uh, my meat and mushrooms and onions have cooked down nicely. So now I'm just gonna add in about a tablespoon of minced garlic, stir that in. Just let that cook for about a minute. Once that's cooked through, I'm going to add my cauliflower rice into the pan and I'm going to add in some soy sauce. So that's more for like flavor, up to how much you want to add. So I'll probably do one to two tablespoons depending. I don't want a lot of liquid in the bottom. I did have to drain some liquid. The turkey and the mushrooms released a lot of liquid. So I drained it out until it was almost dry in the bottom, just because we are gonna be adding some liquid in there. All right. So we're gonna try to get 
try and get this to go in in one little thing here. It might be easier to have it come this way. There we go. Gotta love parchment paper. Woo! And we didn't spill. That's the best. All right, let's toss this in the trash. Add in my soy sauce. I'm gonna add it in before I stir it so the cauliflower rice soaks up a lot of that flavor because it dried out a lot in the oven, so it's gonna soak up a lot of that nice uh, soy sauce flavor. Spread it around a little bit, get it all over. I'm gonna cook this through for about a minute, and then once it's like stirred in, I'm gonna add in my spinach. I have about three ounces of spinach there, so a couple of really good handfuls. All right, we're one giant handful. Stir this in, let it wilt down, and then that is it, guys. So it's gonna be a really nice, hearty, filling meal without all of the carbs. And uh, you still got your protein and a lot of veggies in there, a lot of good, healthy veggies in there. So, yeah, we're just going to let that wilt down and then it's going to be time to eat. You could top it with some feta cheese if you guys wanted to. Totally up to you. Parmesan would even taste really good. I might throw some of that on there, but we'll see. So, thank you for joining me. Again, my name is Meredith. This has been What's Cooking. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you don't miss any episodes. Make sure to hit the like button too. And if you're watching me over on Instagram TV, make sure you head to my profile and follow me over there. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.